here we are again with another rapid reaction after a loss in a big showcase game. Uh, I'm not going to get worked up because this is kind of just what it is now, kind of the new normal. We're kind of getting immune to it. And to be honest, if we're going to be truthful here on YouTube, I expected it. And I think a lot of fans walked in without much confidence in this team. And that's what happened on the court. UCLA, UCLA won 63-53. to 53. I want to emphasize the... 53, as in the amount of points Kentucky scored in a basketball game. Cal said earlier in the year the goal is 80, and they fell quite short of that, including a four-and-a-half-minute scoring drought to end the game. I wanted to yell, but then I'm also, like I said, it just it's kind of like, here we are, somewhat expected. Yeah, I mean, like, one thing that I'm at least excited about from uh, seeing on Twitter and our, on our YouTube channel is uh, the, there's not as much apathy tonight, I felt mm -hmm. like. I mean, I kind of am with you because as I was coming into the building, I didn't have much confidence that Kentucky was going to pull out the win. Uh, but the fans online are apoplectic. Oh, they're hot. And, and, and rightfully so. And that's, I mean, I feel like there has been this apathy in the fan base that we do just expect to lose. And then people will say things like, well, you remember 2014? Remember 2011? They went to the Final Four. went to the National Championship. Give them time. I, I want to win basketball games in November and December. I want to – Kentucky basketball, you don't just go, oh, they lost again. That's, I don't understand where that apathy came from. And I know it started you know, around 2011, 2014 when they made those runs in the tournament. But I want Kentucky basketball to be good not just in March. And, and, I, I'm one, and it's not just that they lose. It's easy to pick apart uh, Calipari and this team that they lost. It's not that they lost. They, this is not fun to watch. No. I am your target audience, and I was bored to tears. I mean, bored. I, didn't even, I don't like watching their games. We got we to go cover that Florida A&M game. I'm looking forward to that none. Like, I, if I wasn't being paid to be there, <laughs> I wouldn't go. And I want you to just take go off, kid. You have the floor. <laughs> I'm a spectator right now. It's, it's just frustrating, Drew. Like the three, there's three guys that that we thought were really going to be big impact players this year. C.J. Frederick couldn't be on the floor. Uh, uh, Damian Collins didn't play, and Jacob Toppin can't make a shot. And 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 you know, there's times throughout the game where they they feed, they want to feed the post. Oscar's triple teamed. They're not looking out opposite. There's hardly any movement on the offensive end. Oh, let's just all throw up a bad shot on the last 10 possessions. That yeah. was so hard to watch. Well, Chris Livingston said in the post game, he said something to the effect of, well, we were trying to grind the game out, which is our favorite thing yeah, to do. Yeah. Grind it out, baby. Just grind it out. It's 53 points. That's all you need to win a basketball game. Just grind it. Just grind it. You know, we want to we we want to shorten the game because we're not very good, Drew. We're not a good team. So we want to shorten the game. We want to shorten possessions because that's our that's our philosophy. This is what I'm saying. Cal is a good X's and O's coach. He really, I believe he is. This is like a philosophical thing. Like, he does want to grind out games. I heard him on the radio about playing Yale. He wants to grind out a game versus Yale. Yeah. Can, can we let's, not let's just take the air out? That's what we do. Yeah, and it's and it is just frustrating. I mean, there I feel still feel like this team is very talented. And I like it, the roster. I don't like the way yes. they're playing together and no. being used. And are they having fun? We were talking about that earlier. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask Hal uh, a message for the fans. I kind of gave a little bit saying we'll figure this out. I, I don't know if we all believe that. It's just we're in such a weird funk right now. Jack Dempsey's before this game. I've been going there 10 plus years. I've never seen it like it was today. Really? Four floors of shoulder to shoulder. And I'm going around talking to fans, and honestly, I'm asking for predictions, and it was pretty embarrassing how many people said UCLA. Like, not good. people that paid money to be, to be here, here. They traveled all the way to New York City. Talking about, well, you know, we're going we're we're to take the air out of the ball and probably yeah. lose in the end. And, I mean, that's kind of what happened. And it's just – it's like we're just watching the same movie over and over again. They um, were in danger turnovers of Turnovers being... today. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, the, the team, turnovers and free throws have, have been – turnovers not so much all year, but free throws have been bad all year. Awful again tonight. And then – Cal in the press conference, you know, we got to get the Cal fact checker Twitter account going. But he said, you know, we're not normally a bad free throw shooting team. They're yeah. currently ranked 306th in the country. So I don't know what oh, wow. stats he's looking at. But free throws killed them tonight. Um, the early jump where UCLA got up as many as 13, mm -hmm. I felt like we were, Kentucky was going to get run out of the gym so at that point. Yeah. Credit to them for fighting back in the second half. But then you get to that four and a half minute mark and you're down by two and you just don't score again because guys are just throwing stuff up. Jacob Toppin, Bud, the NBA, I don't know. I know I, you were it, trying to make it tonight, but I don't think it helped. When we saw him in the Bahamas, I believe the goals were still 10 foot. Yeah. Right? Like, everything was the same. I mean, I understand you're not playing the, the, the best of the competition there, but the ball was going in the basket. What is so different? I just – I feel like they're just so tight. Yeah. Everybody. No one's having fun. I don't know if that's a coaching thing or if it's just – 
there's pressure. They're coming off a 9-20 and 20 season a couple seasons ago, the worst tournament loss in school history. And so every single one of these games, these four games where they get a chance to prove themselves again to the fan base, they've come up short every single time. I mean, except for Michigan. Um, but, but that's I just wonder if they're just so tight. I mean, it feels like on free throws, they're just kind of gu- trying to guide the ball into the basket. I just we keep looking up because we might get run out of here. We've already been yelled at twice. <laughs> they're trying to flip this into an uh, ice rink for yeah. hockey tomorrow, and we're sitting here where the ice should be, so we should hurry. <laughs> but I just, of all the things that went wrong, and there was a lot, the shot selection at the end of the game is just, it was truly unbelievable. I mean, Toppin took one. I saw Cal just put his hands over his face. Like, what? where did that come from? And it was just one after another. Everyone was guilty. Wheeler had some horrible plays in this game. Six turnovers for him. He did hit a three that kind of got a little energy going. But, yeah. I mean, he had many more bad plays. A air ball, a floater, uh, got swiped a couple times. I mean, just throwing it straight into UCLA when trying to feed the post. I just couldn't get over how out of sync this offense was the whole game, especially yeah. at the end when they actually had a chance. Thank God for Chris Livingston getting hot there for a little bit. He and Lance Ware played a great game. Who had those two right. keeping Kentucky that, How was that your best lineup? I want to know what their what their plus minus was in the game. But but they, uh, Livingston, he said that, you know, it's going talking about Livingston. Uh, Calipari said that one of the reasons he couldn't play CJ is because Livingston. I, I just I think that they could play on the floor at the same time. I think it's possible I you could figure out a lineup see to see I where. I would love to see yeah. it. it. I mean, I, I don't know what you do about CJ. You, you, you got to worry about his confidence at this point. He's clearly a better shooter than he's been yeah. to this point. If you look at his numbers at Iowa versus here, but how many times have you seen a shooter lose confidence around this team? Oh, they're turning off the lights. Turn on the lights. Yeah, we got this one. So. Um, we're going to wrap it up. I feel like you got a lot more to say, so just uh, why don't you give the, give her what you want? What oh, I mean, you know, it, it, I can get on my soapbox, uh, but I, here's the thing. I want to, I, I want to like try to remember it's December 17th and there is time now it's running out because you, you're not getting a one seed. The resume is, is not a one seed yeah. resume at this point. And I know there's you know tournament runs and everybody's going to put all, all of right. their. Yeah. Okay we're so out. We're going to have to wrap we're it up. We're being told. We'll I will, tell you uh, more. I'll tweet out the rest later. All right yeah. go Cats. <laughs> Shout out to Madison Square Garden for having us too.